This is a quick tutorial that will help you produce a two-minute audio slideshow using a mobile phone and software called SoundSlides. You can download a PDF document with more in-depth instructions using the link below. Now let's talk about recording audio. You can record audio using a small audio recorder or even your mobile phone with a free app like WavePad. Create one recording with your narration to accompany your images. It should run two to five minutes. Generally, the fewer words of narration, the better. Now let's talk about editing your story using sound slides. Before you begin, create a folder on your desktop called Assets and add your MP3 narration file. Also, add a folder that only has your images in it. All images must be saved as JPEGs. First, open Sound Slides. Then you need to save the project somewhere. I save it to my desktop with the date. Year, month, day. Next, in the box on the left, choose Large and Full Screen Enabled. Next, click the JPEG button and select the folder with your pictures. You will not be able to select individual images. Select Open and the images will upload. Next, click SND and go to Assets folder to upload your audio MP3 file. Sound Slides will import both your sound file and your images. Now you see the editing window. At the bottom, there is a timeline with your narration audio. Next, we'll adjust our photos to match the narration. The images are imported in alphabetical order, but this may not work with our narration audio. To rearrange, you can just click and drag an image. All of the images appear on the timeline for the same amount of time. You can grab the gray bar between images and drag it to change the amount of time each image appears in the slideshow. You can use the orange bar to jump through the timeline. Pressing your space bar will both play and pause the slideshow. On the top left, you will view the playback of the slideshow. One tip is that it is helpful to transition from image to image on pauses or punctuations in the audio rather than in the middle of words. Now look at the tabs on the top right. Slide info shows the caption information. Refer to the PDF for captioning instructions. The Template tab has presets that you can choose. For template specifications, please check the PDF. The Project Info tab is where you will put the title of your project and your name. For example, Photos and Audio by Kem Sawyer. The last tab is Audio. If you want to re-upload your audio to add something or correct a mistake, you can upload audio here. But beware! Uploading new audio may affect the timing that you have already decided on. When you are finished editing, click Export. Exporting saves all of the files you will need to play the slideshow in a web browser. All of these components are saved to a folder titled Publish to Web. Rename the Publish to Web folder with your name and project. Then compress this file and save it as a zip file. Windows and Mac users will do this differently, but refer to the PDF for help if you need it. For Pulitzer Center purposes, you will need to export the slideshow as an MP4. To do this, use the link below to open the online video converter. Select an output size and enter an email. If your slideshow includes motion or lower thirds, you can check the box to include them in the video. Click Continue. This brings up an upload page where you will click Select File and upload your renamed Publish to Web zip file. Your file will upload. It should take less than 30 minutes to convert. If you entered an email address, the converter will email you when the conversion is complete. Once the conversion is complete, you will see a download link. Use this link to download your converted slideshow. You will then need to upload this MP4 file to us. Please do not send us the Publish to Web folder. To upload the MP4 file to the website, go to pulitzercenter.org. 
At the top right, click Log In. Use the username and password that were emailed to you prior to going into the field to log in. At the top right, click My Account. Next, in the lower left of this landing page, click Submit Content. This will call up a page for you to create a post with your content on the Pulitzer Center website. First, click whether or not this content has already been published. Second, create a content title, for example, Congo's Children. Next, upload a Word document that has an introduction to your project. This text will accompany the video on the website in the actual post. This should be around one paragraph long. Next, fill in the space for external URL to include a hyperlink of this material if it has been published somewhere else. If it has not been published anywhere else, leave this blank. In the box below Teaser, you will write a brief statement that is one or two lines long, up to 200 characters, about what this video is about. This teaser will show up with your post on the home page, but the text included in your Word document will actually appear on the post with the video. Under Media Categories, select Video. Every post must have a horizontal image attached to it. Click Choose File and upload an image to accompany your video. Next, you will need to upload the video file. Click Choose File and select your video file for upload. There is no progress bar for the upload. If the button reads Uploading, then it is working. There is a place for you to import audio, but you will not need that with your video post. Next, click Location and zoom in to find the country covered in the post. For example, this video is from the Democratic Republic of Congo. If you need to tell us anything about your post, you can include it in a log message. This will only be viewable by Pulitzer Center staff. When you have everything filled in, save the post. Once you press Save, we will receive a notification. Please check everything thoroughly because you will not be able to return to the post once it has been saved and we have received it. In the case something did go wrong, please let us know. Do not create multiple posts of the same content. Once we have the video, we will email you if revisions are necessary. When uploading revised videos, do not create a new post. Upload the video file directly to us using pulitzercenter.org slash dropbox. And then send us an email so we will be on the lookout for your video. Thank you for watching. If you get stuck, refer to the PDF in a link below. We can't wait to see what you produce.